Okay, hello. Hope, hope this is working. Um, great day to you all. Um, hope you are having a fantastic Monday. Or is it Tuesday? This is Tuesday. I'm totally <laughs> uh, um, forgetting what what day it is. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's continue this little project. I'm ha uh, uh, I have been working lately. So I have um, this is the fifth video that I'm making from this uh, this uh, pixies and hummingbirds picture. Uh, in the first video, I colored this. Uh, this hummingbird and that pixie, pixie. and uh, then I did this blue uh, blue flower here, and then we did this these two flowers, and in last video we made this uh, this hummingbird and pixie, and now I hope I can manage to get these uh, three little. Um, flowers here done and uh, also these final little squiggly lines and uh, this is the uh, coloring picture that is available for you guys uh, the the link is uh, is uh, this selfie.com slash fine so you can purchase this picture from there and uh, do this uh, same project and uh, even follow along if you want. Yeah, so let's begin. I actually, like in last videos, I will move my camera now a little bit closer. So just a second. I will adjust my camera first like this uh, I think it is for now this is okay and then I'll adjust the focus just a second is it is it sharp now it's first out this is better okay yeah so here we have yet another uh, blue blue flower that I am going to make so let's take these blue pencils here um, let's see some lighter ones few luminance pencils and this oh not that one this white and let's see couple other that looks quite nice and that one and I may take few few extra ones also later and uh, just a second I'm trying to find my magenta where are you? There it is. So, and yes, this is going to be a blue flower, but uh, uh, like I did in that uh, other one, um, I use also some pinks. So, um, I may take some other colors also, but uh, let's start from these. Firstly, oh, that was wrong. I meant to take this one. So 
these two, combining these two, uh, you get really nice uh, uh, dark colors. So that is one tip I have you. Um, uh, this is dark indigo and uh, magenta from Fabriano. Uh, I mean uh, from, from Faber-Castell and this white color like I have done in uh, previous uh, pictures also I will do this uh, white underlaying on these flowers and uh, that helps me for to keep that uh, under coloring or uh, um, under paint um, it helps me to keep that uh, white of the paper white if if I'm going to uh, do little white markings. Um, hi Hilde, hi. I can't pronounce your name. Uh, something. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm painting or coloring here. I hope I can get this done quickly today because I have work day tomorrow. So I am going to be quite fast in, in this, but I try to explain what I do. So now I am <clears throat> I am doing this uh, white on the under coloring here. Um, you can't see you can't see that. Uh, okay, damn, my camera just froze. Just a second. Deactivate, activate. I hope I won't get these these problems too much today because I am so so tired of this constantly fighting with these settings to know what it is what it's wrong with me my my uh, computer but it just don't like me Apply and okay. I hope you you can see now what I'm doing. Actually, let's do a little adjustment to that focus. Just okay. Oh, I hope my, yeah, I hope my um, camera won't, won't do that, that uh, too much today. So yeah, so I am now doing this uh, under coloring here with this white, just pure white uh, um, Faber-Castell polychromos. And I think this is, I like this uh, the most uh, for this uh, under, under coloring. And this is just to kind of protect the whiteness of that paper. Actually, I will do this same thing for, for these other flowers here. Even though I I will start uh, start by coloring this blue flower here, but we save some time here. And I am off camera, and it is frozen again. I can't believe this. I really 
how this will stop doing that uh, frozening so there are, there are those days when you just can't seem to get uh, your equipment to work work the way they they should Um, so, how, how has your week started? Here it, it, it has been so rainy and so cold and I'm really, really waiting for that summer to come. <laughs> uh. Okay, now I have that uh, underlayering uh, done with this one white Faber castle and uh, now I'm, I'm starting co start coloring that uh, blue flower there just a little bit moving my camera and again can't believe what is this I don't understand what is the problem with this freaking thing. Okay, let's see. Now it is working okay again. At least for a second. I really hope this won't occur anymore. Um, <laughs> oh no! So Moscow has the same problem as as we do. Too much rain. Yeah, it it has been really um, weird summer. Seems like uh, it is only raining. Um, so I'm starting with uh, this kind of light uh, phthalo blue. I'm trying to um, keep on uh, uh, mentioning these uh, pencils that I'm using, but sorry if I forget. Because um, I actually don't uh, take that much of a notice uh, what ex what is the exact color that I am using in in some uh, certain uh, times because uh, I think uh, the most important thing is uh, contrasts not the actual color you are using and then then I'm thinking um, so I, I think uh, how light or dark should I get some some certain area so and um, and after that I'm thinking should it should it be warmer or cooler and uh, Depending on those, <laughs> what what is the answer? <laughs> I'm thinking um, that is uh, the, um, how I I decide what colors I use. This just a kind of trial and error. Uh, there is not only one one way to do do this. So don't uh, don't stress too much about the uh, choosing just exactly the right color but 
I know uh, different people like to work different ways, so I'm trying to explain my what colors I am using in which time. So now, um, again, I'm doing this. Uh, this flower will be more like uh, like this uh, uh, this big pink flower, and uh, I'm doing this. Uh, center area more darker and uh, these uh, outer are areas from uh, of these uh, petals will be lighter one reason for that is uh, the because i want to get those uh, st steam and stems <laughs> how you pronounce those um you um those will appear more bright uh when there is uh, this um, dark dark uh, color around them so when when i start uh, using that uh, racing uh, eraser these stems will will appear more uh, more bright and much better now um this is going to be uh, I'm just figuring out. I don't want to get these uh, two two kind of copied so that these look exactly the same as the one next to each other. So let's see. Now I'm just kind of uh, sketching those uh, lines and. Uh, Maybe I'll do the it like like this section from from this uh, flower is kind of uh, facing upwards, and I want to keep this quite light. It will be still blue, but uh, it will turn about right here, kind of facing this way or this way. And it is starting to be darker. And let's make few wrinkles, just few wrinkles like this. And then this is leaving here, this kind of shadow. Then there is a wrinkle that is facing here, and then this one is again facing that. So I'm kind of uh, thinking which which direction uh, certain areas of these uh, petals will face, and uh, deciding that this is light area that is uh, facing in certain direction, and uh, I try to kind of. Uh, place the, those shines and shadows that way <laughs> yeah Hilda um, uh, first day yeah <laughs> I really hope uh, the summer is coming now because I am starting my summer holiday in uh, well, next week will be my my summer holiday. That is one reason why I'm rushing to get this this picture done because I I'm taking a um, little time off from from YouTube. I uh, I will post these uh, the time lapse videos from this, but uh, this. Um, I can't do kind of new videos uh, while I'm uh, while I'm on a summer holiday trip. So you you guys can ease up and <laughs> uh, fake, fake a vacation from from this channel also. <laughs> 
at least uh, for a few weeks. I don't know if I have time at all to take uh, do do any artworks uh, for for next uh, couple of weeks because I am I am moving and uh, that will take take time from me. Okay, this is way too bright. Just a second, trying to get this uh, thing. I hope it's better now. A little bit. I feel like there is much more, uh, more to show, more to see here. White paper is so hard to get uh, to see. Look, look the way it it should be. Uh, so this is now I um, change my color. This is uh, what is this? Hello blue reddish. And so I just I just took uh, one little bit darker uh, blue color than than uh, the previous one that I used here. So just just take something a bit darker than the previous color you had. It really doesn't matter. And if you are uh, doing doing um, red flower here, do the same thing. Um, just pick some darker color yeah. and then here is the petal of this and it is casting a shadow here and I actually want to turn that this and little these uh, few little um, wrinkles here and I'll deepen those shadows just a bit and let's do a few lines here like this People are messaging me. And now let's continue the, this petal here. And this is on top of this is on top of this one. So let's make yet another cast shadow. Like this, and then this is also under this petal here. So let's make like this, and then I will do just few the lines like following the curve of this uh, this petal and let's darken that that uh, deepest area there but as you can see I'm doing these kind of wrinkles and uh, hills and valleys <laughs> or I don't know how to describe this but so that it's it's not the um, even and uh, um, I just toned that little bit down maybe a little bit shadow there so that it's 
it is not uh, completely on one color but I'm doing these kind of bumps here and here and same thing to here but actually we are not done with this this flower, uh, flower petal here let's make some wrinkles there more like so and then and again the inner area is darker and this this uh, petal here is under this one so let's take take that dark color there so and make a little shadow cast shadow and again and here is just the dark this this uh, pedal here is kind of facing upwards so let's give it And um, if you feel like uh, you don't uh, don't know what uh, colors or how to shade some some of these uh, flowers, you can always check out some some flower, some fl reference photo, and uh, take uh, take ideas from that uh, that uh, reference photo. Now. I am um, well let's take this this is bluish pale from Carandas Pablo and let's just just so that the, we get rid of that uh, whiteness those brightest white to check out those settings of the camera Because I feel like you can't see all the all the shades say shades that we have here.
um, with this white, with this uh, white, uh, I mean with this uh, pale, pale blue color that I'm using here, I'm kind of uh, doing little circles. It's uh, either uh, on the movement, uh, on the, the direction of the uh, this flower, or little circles. But I still try to follow the. I won't go like this. I'm uh, kind of following the wrinkles and uh, the bump <coughs> bumps of this uh, this flower and its petals. Okay, now we have nice even color coverage of this this light blue. And then let's see what is this? This is light cobalt blue turquoise. And let's use this one and see how it is working. So now I'm um, kind of uh, darkening those uh, those light lightest in these lightest areas those shadows shadows in those light areas kind of highlights shadows at the same time these are this is giving a nice new color But uh, I won't go completely uh, so that there is uh, this same color everywhere. I'm kind of picking certain areas that I want to give that uh, little hint of this turquoise color. And then let's put that aside just just for a moment and make uh, this dark indigo blue. And again I'm going through these uh, darkest areas. And giving those uh, deepest shadows a little bit depth, depth. Sharpening some uh, some lines, some uh, uh, some of these uh, shadows we have here, cast shadows between between uh, different petals be a little sharpening there and again and that needs some sharpening Okay, now, then, 
let's take this uh, magenta magenta color and give that shadow a little bit more depth by using this uh, another dark color it is getting really nice and dark almost black ah hi or uh hi on musk uh glad to have you here yeah doodle some some uh, flowers <laughs> Glad to see you guys. see you here also. Um yeah and now let's take this let's see fuchsia. This is beautiful color. And now I am not uh pressing at all because I I don't want to get this this flower to look like it is pink. I want to just give this kind of hint of hint of pink hint of a new interesting color but uh, I don't want to turn this uh, this flower as a whoa that is a pink flower it uh, should be more more of like uh, blue or violet And uh, again, I'm being kind kind of picky on the areas that I I am applying this this pink. I won't go completely over over every every area with with this pink. I'm just lightly picking some some certain areas some. Some from the shadows, some from the highlight areas, and just giving them their a little, little hint of this pink. Like so. And now let's take yet another one. Was this the first or middle pale or blue? Let's take this one. And let's give this a little bit more. Let's darken some of these uh, highlight areas and blend these through the shadows and I really want to make this uh, especially this area quite quite dark not black, but uh, so that there is not that much of a white color because that that why that that's how I can get those uh, uh, erased uh, stems pop up much better after I erase erase those. and then let's take uh, actually I want to take my this is gray not that one this is light cobalt blue the uh, this 
This end looks like white, but this is actually blue. Karen does, doesn't have that good of a markings on those edges all the time. And now I'm kind of burnishing. I'm not uh, pushing too hard, but uh, still so that I get this uh, nice um, soft look in here because I don't want to use the, um, the odorless mineral spirit just yet uh, because I haven't uh, I haven't um, erased those stems just yet and if I if I use uh, uh, that uh, paint thinner to blend that may be uh, may uh, get it uh, harder for me to uh, get those white areas back to back to white by by erasing Okay, and then I'll just take p uh, pl plain white, white uh, luminance and blend these uh, lightest areas here because I want to keep those ki kind of white, like so. And actually, now I will try to find the. Uh, see. Actually, yeah. This is Mauve. I, I don't know if I pronounce that right, but uh, this is this um, kind of dark um, violet color. And now I'm very lightly kind of glazing just some areas here just some uh, shadows so that area there and let's give this area here and a little bit there just a hint and uh, let's put like there and there, a little bit there, and here. Okay, now let's take that uh, eraser. And Will, I must remind you, you have this one, use it, because these are awesome. I'm uh, sharpening this, like this, on sanded paper. That is one way of sanding or uh, sharpening these, and one is just cutting. Okay. Now I think I am having enough sharp of a line. So let's take a look. I think I'll
this is our main main stem now I'm I need to clean that edge because this got some color in it and let's make another one Make sure that uh, you sharpen your <laughs> your eraser when you do do this kind of very uh, detailed erasing. Okay. Ah. Okay, another way for uh, doing this is as, as I showed you guys uh, last time, is this, this is scotch magic tape and uh, I can bring this here and just lift the collar. So if you don't have uh, that kind of uh, um, eraser or you get fed up <laughs> with that uh, constant uh, cleaning and sharpening, then you just use, use your tape. And I can always correct that if it gets too, too wide. And let's see this way. And uh, because I have that uh, white under painting, white uh, layer underneath here, that helps me to get this really bright white, even though there is so dark, uh, dark colors on top of this area let's see i want to get a little kind of line dot here and uh, let's make one longer one I'm cutting the um, pieces off from this uh, tape so that I have always good clean tape to use. make that a little bit longer so and 
then we can sharpen or darken those, those uh, outer edges. Okay, and now I'm doing those uh, um, little dots. Tape is sticking on my finger. Um, so let's see. Clean this paper, just dusting with this brush. Okay, uh, where is it? There. Okay, then I'm just uh, sharpening those. Kind of doing these uh, shadows or sharpening a little bit those edges of these stems. is going out from here and let's give this a little kind of a drop of shadow here under these ones And then I will take that uh, light light blue from um, Karen Doss and just blend up the little drop shadow and make a few more shadows there. Okay, and then. Let's take uh, this. This is orange place. Just some orange. And I'll give those stems a little bit color. And then I'll switch to this. Uh, Bright cadmium yellow. Okay. 
okay and then i'll take this uh, uh this fuchsia and fuchsia together with yellow is gives this a uh, very nice nice bright orange and also i'm coloring a little bit all, um, outside of those and giving those um, ends of these uh, what are these stem <laughs> dots dots here I'll add some pink on top of those Just a little bit. And then just blend this uh, with with uh, white. Uh, this flower here and blend blend those uh, petals just a little bit more Actually, I want to add some little bit more blue, so I'll take this uh, uh, light blue from Karen Dash. Let's try this one. This is very nice, very soft blue. blend up with uh, with this white those edges and actually I'll take this uh, also this phthalo blue from Karen Dars and uh, yes I like this. Now it is becoming more blue than, than purple. This is for those shadows this Carandas Thalo Blue and and that uh, other lighter blue is for those uh, those uh, shine uh, or lighter areas like now now I'm switching switching to this uh, lighter blue from from Karen Dosh.
let's make just the hint of this uh, darker blue in here and also in here and blend that with this uh, lighter blue that blue white here and now I'm blending those edges with with white okay Let's move to another flower here. Now, this one will be quite the same as the the one uh, on the, on the uh, right left uh, left side there this one so let's start again with uh, with this with these uh, under uh, these petals under here and now I am very lightly with this uh, fuchsia, just laying down this color. Because uh, this this uh, petal here, this here, here is one, and here and here. These are going to be pink, and these center um, petals here are going to be more like white. White color. And I'm doing just really, really, really light layer here. Just plugging that uh, white away. Okay, and then, and this is looking really ugly right now, but then we take this, uh, what is this, pink, uh, rosa pink um, metal, mat Matter Lake, these names are weird, light pink, take just some light pink actually I I could have uh, done this this coloring here with with this color but because I was stupid I didn't use this one I usually like to go from uh, light to dark
now I am doing just kind of a very even coloring with this pink. I'm trying to get as even as possible, although this is looking quite horrible at the moment, but uh, it is just these first layers, they usually look like this. With colored pencils you you really often see these um, <laughs> ugly stages when when the piece is looking just awful so so long time. Especially with me because usually I don't do uh, I don't work like this uh, in this project that uh, I do one petal at a time or one one subject at a time and complete it. Uh, usually <laughs> I jump around constantly. So for example uh, normally I may even jump uh, from from this stage to th here uh, to these uh, other pink flowers. I would do all the pink flowers kind of the same time. <laughs> That is not the best best way of working, but that is something I usually do. So these are going to stay looking ugly quite a quite long time usually with me. But now this is going much quicker and much much more um, better structure. <laughs> that hello hi uh yeah you you didn't miss uh i'm only do have done one flower i have still two two flowers and uh, these little squiggly lines here so you didn't miss that much oh you ordered set of luminance uh what what set how how big how big of a set i have I have only bought these uh, those uh, Fabergastel. Uh, I mean those uh, Karen Dash Luminance pencils uh, on open stock, but uh, um, no, and uh, only bought those uh, colors that I feel I will need. But uh, <laughs> I guess uh, if I if I have the bought all the uh, both the whole sets I would have already um, used as as much money for those as as I have already now by, by buying those open stack stock pencils. Okay, sorry, I'm not explaining what I'm doing here. So now I have this uh, under coloring here and now I'm doing the kind of these uh, wrinkles or shadows making making more shapes to these uh, these flowers here. Seventy two is the largest set you can buy uh, luminance. Is that right? Uh, if I remember right, that is the biggest set. Oh, that is going to be so so fun, so nice to have. I'm so happy for you. It is always so. Uh, so enjoyable buying new sets although there is the problem of how uh, the, they they are they look so pretty when they are not used those uh, those uh, pencils 
and uh, as somebody said uh, you should buy two sets one for show and uh, for display and one for use although <laughs> uh, pencils like when when you use them so now I'm uh, putting that aside and I'll take uh, let's see what should I do? Oh, this. I love this color. This is the purple red, purplish red from Luminance. This is one of my favorite colors. As you can, can imagine of the color schemes that I so often use. And again, I'm doing this shadows okay so should this one be on top of this one so and this is the white petal, so there should be a shadow. And let's see. Watch it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like this. looking but not wanting to break them yeah <laughs> yeah especially pastels are pastels look so pretty uh, those little little pastel sticks and uh, and pencils but especially those sticks it's also um, watercolors same problem Oh guys, I'm so happy for you for getting those uh, full sets. Okay, wrinkles, wrinkles, so many wrinkles. And I really, I'm just uh, kind of. Um, I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing here. I'm kind of uh, just uh, building a shape that, that uh, interests me. But uh, even though I do this uh, this way now, <laughs> usually, usually, 99% uh, of the time I have some sort of a reference photo especially before uh, now i have uh, deliberately practiced on on doing these uh, more imaginative uh, paintings or drawings but that really don't come naturally for me i i uh, for years i did uh, mostly portraits and I preferred using really good good quality reference photos. And because of that, because I have done so many um, 
um, realistic or uh, uh, so many of those uh, um, photo uh, photorealistic looking uh, pictures using good reference photos I have built uh, such a knowledge that I can do quite quite realistic looking just from from memory but that is due to years and years of practice really years I'm, I have drawn all my life so don't feel like you have to be able to do this uh, also just from memory also I know that I could do better than this uh, with using accurate reference photo. That is always, always better way if uh, if you just have a good reference of the subject you want to draw. But um, because I had these uh, ideas in my head, uh, I I and uh, the. Finding new uh, good reference photos, royalty free reference photos, it is um, it's not easy all the time. Although for practice, use any photos you can. But uh, because I want to be able to sell sell my uh, drawings, I I want to u also use. Uh, royalty free reference photos or uh, as nowadays I feel like it's just easier to kind of uh, try to uh, study the anatomy of the subject that I am uh, going to draw or paint and uh, then then just uh, doing <laughs> million sketches and uh, Playing around with the with the different postures and so on, and then then usually I go to to my uh, computer and do Photoshop studies, color studies, and detail studies, and so on, and uh, build the picture from there. Although nowadays, now that I have done that so many times. Uh, I I've built a uh, better ability to kind of like this. I uh, don't have reference, but uh, just well, heck it. I just do what I want <laughs> I, and hope for the best. And if I find, uh, for example, I got this kind of really light. Oh, uh, shadow and uh, highlight and again shadow. I like this so I continue that very lightly on there. So this is on the center of this petal and uh, it's quite quite uh, natural for these kind of plants to have these uh, central lines. So oh, let's leave that that there. And maybe apply that same idea here, just very lightly. But the um, most important is that uh, give yourself promise uh, or uh, let yourself do mistakes and experiment and not every piece needs to be a masterpiece. I don't show every little um, sketch or ugly uh, picture that I make for on my so-called own time. Um, I have showed you some sketches that I have made, and th those really are not not anything uh, beautiful or uh, anything that I would like to post on Facebook or Instagram. I can show you you guys here but uh, I don't feel like 
posting those uh, um, on 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 my sites uh, because people don't follow me because of those pictures. Although the, those are something we all, everybody, every every art artist do those uh, kind of ugly sketches and. Uh, there are these uh, um, pictures that are have gone wrong and are not that that of the beautiful or uh, good looking, but they are part of the learning curve and all always necessary. Okay, now I'm switching to this mauve and um, doing um, sharpening or darkening those uh, shadows there very lightly. I kind of glaze over these uh, certain uh, shadow areas with this this uh, dark uh, violet color. Very lightly, I don't push almost at all. But uh, this will give me kind of a more depth, depth and uh, um, uh, contrast on this. And here, I actually like these uh, wrinkles or lines here. So I'll, I'll try to not ruin those, and I just take some some of those lines and just very very lightly darken those and continue glazing on top okay let's leave that aside and move the another another petal here i'm doing this kind of circle uh movement now and I'm trying to um, not to leave any any uh, um, sharp lines anywhere. Let's sharpen that shadow there. And let's take this here and make a little shadow there. Also, yeah, just a hint. Okay, and then here. And uh, the center shadow wrinkle thingy 
there and just very very lightly darkening those It's very interesting seeing you, your mistake. Everybody shows best picture, and we are who just started actually think uh, what something wrong <laughs> with this. With us, cause you every time do something beautiful, but we are not when we see your mistakes. It helps us trying again. That is true. That is very true. True and uh, whoa. <laughs> Heck, I'll show you something. Uh, some of you already have seen these. Ugh. Oh, this is very ugly, but uh, this was kind of uh, testing of the um, posture of that. Uh, that one uh, swan that uh, I made with acrylics on that uh, yeah, I I don't have video from that but uh, I have picture on my Facebook and uh, Instagram account and here are these very beautiful look how pretty those are these are just those very quick sketches I've made just testing out those uh, different wing postures what should i like and here are some other ideas i am actually doing this one currently this is the hero heron that i have already done i am going to do someday this uh bear standing bear and here are some really quick sketches here some of you have already seen these uh, sketches of this this picture that i am currently doing and even though those are i don't see those as a as a uh, mistakes any of these but uh, they are more like uh, like uh, quick sketches, quick ideas um, that slowly build up, builds up on on uh, bigger picture. Here is the uh, this almost the same. Actually, this is something I'm planning to do. But this is uh, almost the same as the one uh, free coloring picture in my website. Uh, finartanne.com there are few free uh, coloring pictures there are some sketches ideas more deers <laughs> different ideas for the another little um, coloring picture that I have there not in this poster I'll maybe do that one someday here are some quick uh, hummingbird. <laughs> These are, I am obsessed with hummingbirds, as you can see. These are very quick little thumbnail sketches I've done. Here are some very ugly. This is trying to be a stone baby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something more. Just ideas on the paper. And these are not... I usually don't show these to anyone. Um, here are some very quick sketches 
polar bear and actually this one I used for for a reference to that the one uh, uh, acrylic painting that I did with pouring medium so there were the those were my sketches that I usually don't show to anyone I don't post those uh, to anywhere but uh, those are kind of these um, ideas that I really quickly want to put on on the paper and uh, it's kind of like a idea diary <laughs> zombie baby <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> um Uh, one time I will paint like you on your quick pictures. Oh, you are super. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it is the art and painting is not nothing. I think it's more like um, if you just. Um, practice enough and uh, give yourself pro uh, the, uh, allow yourself to not um, allow yourself to uh, make mi mistakes I do mistakes in every piece I make other people may not see those as a mistakes but uh, because every time when you you start to creating something you have this uh, perfect idea on your head and uh, then you uh, do the do the drawing or painting and this is this is the uh, dark pink uh, of the Karen Dash. Um, yeah, you have this perfect idea, but usually <laughs> so many times uh, we are not able to complete that uh, perfect, perfect idea, but uh, we, we come close. And uh, when we stop and uh, stop to look at our uh, drawings and we see those mistakes that usually other people don't see they don't see the ma mistakes you have made uh, it, it is all, all <laughs> only in your head but it is good to know this the things you would like to change so that uh, when you see those mistakes and you Notice the things you want to change. You can, you learn, you learn from those, and that is important. If you don't see any mistakes on your own work, then you, you can't, pro you can't become better. And that doesn't mean that you are the best on the world at that point, but uh, you. You just you're just kind of blind to your own creations, and that doesn't mean that uh, um, you don't like what you you see um, or or the picture is not good. It, it, usually, the pictures, the drawings and paintings they are good. You can like them. You should always like your your uh, drawings and paintings. Find the things that are good in those. But uh, also stop and look look and uh, 
think what you should do differently next time and that way you get better every time okay I am using this white just to kind of blend and burnish like you see these are getting much softer softer now Okay. Now I like how these these petals are looking now. Now, so let's move to those 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 white petals here. And let's see what to do. What to do? Let's see. I'll take this one. This is. Uh, ultramarine violet from Karen Dosh and again starting from the darkest areas making those shadows little circles Somebody is messing me constantly. What is your problem? Nothing. I won't answer. Sorry, I am a bad person, but I don't answer now. I'm streaming. Okay. one this is this is the light cobalt blue my violet there is my violet this is the malve you're probably laughing to my pronunciation malve don't know if that is never heard <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad at uh, different names and uh, of the colors Actually, I'm bad at the uh, names 
all the time, even with people. People names and stuff names. Let's make some shadows. And um, here is a wrinkle. And let's make a shadow. I have been drawing a few few hours now. Still some some time to go some uh, one flower on those and this is not done but I hope I think I'll I will be able to do this uh, complete this today. Yay! And uh, next, let's take, actually, let's take this uh, fuchsia and darken this. And the reason why I am using this fuchsia for this center area is because uh, when I do those stems here, and I will lay uh, yellow on here. This fuchsia will uh, keep the. F I hope at least that uh, this fuchsia will help the, to keep that uh, yellow nice and bright, because the um, that uh, violet that I I added there earlier. That was that were that w would uh, otherwise uh, kind of uh, mute or made it uh, look a little bit muddy. What is the problem with people? I never get this much of messages. Okay, I'm not complaining. It's nice to have friends <laughs> to talk to, but but um, now I'm actually doing these uh, kind of cast shadows like this, and let's continue that very lightly. Here and like so. Let's do one here, like so, and then like this white and blend it. Let's blend it, soften that shadow so that there is no, not so, so uh, sharp lines. And then let's take this white to this area also and blend everything. Let's soften this all nice and soft.
Okay. And then, where is my gray? I want my gray. I had it just a second ago, but there it is. This is Penny's grade 30%. And I will use this. And now <clears throat> I'll do these kind of uh, turns or um, try to get uh, some mass on the edges of that petal here. So that's why I'm doing this kind of turn here. Now that we get so that uh, the end of that um, petal is not too flat, it's kind of a uh, curling outward, outwards. Very lightly. So, and then let's take that blue, light, light blue, and blend that. Give it a little bit color. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great, Will. Also, I want to mention to you guys, if somebody doesn't know, Will from Unmask Art. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to her, his channel, <coughs> do that and uh, take part of uh, his uh, um, 10,000 uh, subscriber uh, I lost my thought here. Uh, 10,000 subscriber competition or uh, reward. He is giving a reward to all his uh, um, subscriber. He has this uh, amazing um, pastel tutorial for beginners. All, uh, I bought that uh, that uh, same. Um, Pastel course and it is amazing the quality of those those uh, videos and uh, how he teaches he is very very good teacher well he is a math teacher so <laughs> um, so if you don't already um, are a subscriber to his channel do that. And take part to that uh, that uh, uh, competition or or uh, it's not competition. What is the word? <laughs> also, if uh, some somebody else is. Uh, drawing or doodling something at the moment uh, tag me tag me in the that uh, that picture i want to see what you are you guys are doing while listening <laughs> me rambling here okay let's take some where is my always oh, lost my violet Actually, I want to take another, another violet. Oh, look how nice and sharp that is. I love these uh, Faber-Castell pencils because these are staying uh, so 
so nice and sharp so long time it's so easy to uh, do those uh, tiny tiny details that you know I love love to do and these pencils are the best for that even though I like my my uh, luminance pencils uh, those are good for for um, soft areas, soft soft uh, like skin or that kind of uh, uh, soft backgrounds, for example. Those are very good, but I couldn't live without my my polychromos pencils because these ability hold their their uh, shape or this uh, uh, tip, fine fine tip. This is just the best. Give away, give away, yes. Ah, oh, my English. Uh, the uh, <laughs> Onmask Art giveaway he is having. Uh, so you can get that. Uh, the prizes were um, the pastel, pastel course and the tree was it so that the tree are get getting those to three people you are giving uh, um the, that uh, pastel course and uh, to one one you are giving uh, also those supplies uh Ferber pastel pastels and uh, copper jello pastel pencils and uh, some pa uh, pastel paper and oh my god that is amazing amazing uh, giveaway you are giving to your subscribers you really are this uh, have deserved every subscriber you you have also had <laughs> also those uh, live streams you are having on Mondays, they are just the best. Unfortunately, I am leaving to my um, summer summer holiday and um, I don't know if I can be on those uh, live streams for a couple of weeks and I think I will be miss... I'll miss the... Sun, uh, Saturday, Sunday, when was this, uh, the live stream of you and Anna. I will miss that, probably. I guess I'm, I'm on my way on that, that time. Uh, what I think about Prismacolor pencils, actually I have never used Prismacolor pencils. Uh, you can't get those. Uh, that easily here in Finland where I live you should uh, you need to order those online and so uh, and uh, <laughs> because I have uh, I've been working with the colored pencils on only two years now little over the two years now and uh, before that I actually hate it passionately hate it uh, colored pencils I use uh, before buying these uh, fabric castor pencils I I had uh, Derwent studio pencils and I don't know what was the problem with those but they were constantly breaking and I couldn't get uh, the details or the layering or anything done with those uh, I, I couldn't get the outcome that I would I would have wanted to get also I didn't know you could uh, could get uh, this kind of outcome with uh, with colored pencils at that point then I found Lisa from Lacrae Fine Art if you don't know her check her out Lakri Lakri Fine Arts she is just amazing she has uh, so many 
great videos and actually the first video that I saw from her was this uh, one eagle that she drew with the with her new both <laughs> Faber Castell pencils and uh, she gave really good uh, pencil review uh, I love her uh, reviews product reviews because she she don't just uh, tell that the, these are good and uh, scribble scribble some some uh, uh, color on paper or do some little ball coloring and say that these are okay uh, i i personally don't use uh, do anything with that kind of uh, reviews i want to see what kind of art piece someone else can get with those uh, those pencils or to those paints or anything and um, because I like the the look the paint certainly and uh, soft look you can get with these and her video of these uh, Faber Castell yeah Faber Castell polychromous pencils uh, that was so good that uh, I decided to buy those of myself and I fell in love with colored pencils since then and uh, I also have so seen her reviews on uh, those those uh, Prismacolor pencils uh, Prismacolor pencils, I know so many people do like those and uh, do like the they can do amazing art artwork with those uh, Prismacolor pencils so they are not bad pencils at all but uh, there are some quality control issues uh, I think uh, some people have had problems uh, those uh, those um, uh, pencil leads breaking and wood casing breaking and uh, I don't want to use my time with fighting with the supplies I have so I, I'm not going to try Prismacolors because of that because I'm so lazy I don't want to fight with my pencils at all yeah <laughs> yeah so many uh, people uh, that are uh, doing art uh, uh, especially uh, colored pencil artists already know Lisa getting dull, need to sharpen it just a second oh sticking on my
Okay, and then let's do those dots. Okay, I have forgotten to add that. Here you can see this area here. I haven't uh, added any white on that area. And now when I'm trying to uh, erase that one, it just won't won't get off. Let's see. Let's test out how how this tape. Tape will work on that area. I have no idea, but let's try. So you can erase with tape. But it's much, much uh, harder to do now that there is not no uh, white underneath it. So So yeah, uh, will. You did wasn't you were not in in the beginning. I do this uh, with this white. I do uh, under coloring to this uh, whole area, and um, then I do the actual coloring, and then I can use that eraser to erase everything that I want to be uh, white again. So, for example, this. These stems are much easier to do this way than just trying to uh, go over those those uh, white areas. Yay! <laughs> no, eticus. no eticus. Oh, I, <laughs> why do you? Why do you people have so so uh, hard names? <laughs> I already already know how to pronounce Neef, although uh, yeah, that is nifty. That is very handy, and uh, it's a uh, much easy easier uh, also to get that white uh, if you have. Where is my pencil? Also with this uh, uh, with this tape, if you have uh, that white under under coloring there, don't know if that shows anywhere because these areas are so light. Let's see. Let's take here. Some nice highlights. So next time, will when you are uh, doing colored pencil piece, try it out. Try that out. Um, also, ah, what did I do? Also, uh. I like to use for that uh, under coloring, white under coloring. I want, I like to use this uh, white uh, um, Faber Castell pencil, 
more than uh, the uh, polychromos. Uh, I mean, more than the luminance pencil because the luminance it's more more creamier. So so it also kind of uh, mutes and effects more on the colors on top of that. So uh, let's blend these out, soften those uh, highlights just a little bit. Okay, uh, now I'll do that yellow area there. Yeah, you should give it a try. And remember to tag me on that. I, I want to see, although I will stalk you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, I will see that anyway, but I would love to you to tag me on that. And everybody else who, who are creating something I have, uh, some of you may not, not know, I have Facebook and Instagram where you can follow me and um, tag me if you do these, uh, these uh, uh, colorings uh, at the same time when you are live streaming or, or uh, just if you want to see, uh, show, show me what you are doing. But um, yeah, I I am on those platforms with uh, with this same same name, Fine Art Anne. So it is easy to find me. Ah! Oh! Two long nails. Let's see. Let's add some making just a little bit details here and the dark darker um, shadows or such with the uh, with this uh, what is this fuchsia fuchsia color and together with yellow this is actually looking more like a like a bright uh, orange color very nice combination yellow and fuchsia and uh, let's see this is Karen Dash apricot this is very beautiful color I think is a uh, cadmium ye yellow lemon this is kind of greenish yellow now I'm just kind of glazing glazing over this so that this area gets this kind of greenish halo it's it's not that opaque it's quite translucent but it gives I don't know how much you guys can see it, but uh, it gives it uh, this kind of a glow.
and let's add some pink light light pink here Take this uh, mauve color and sharpen just a little bit of this. Let's make a drop shadow there. New shadows. And darkening the inner area there. Okay. I think we are done with this uh, with this flower and we can move to this little fellow here and uh, just a second that little fellow will be will be blue again and now I'm taking a paper under my hand and uh, let's let's do this like like this way uh, this is the bluish pale from Karen Dust Pablo Whenever you see me using these uh, um, this hexagonal, uh, not round uh, barrel pencils, these are my ooh, these are my uh, Pablo pencils. A few really nice light colors bright colors in Pablo sets that I, I like to use also because Pablo's are more uh, easier to get here in Finland Pablo's and uh, other Carandas pencils that's why I have both a few of these because I have already used <laughs> my uh, my uh, uh, polychromos pencils on those same colors so so that's why I have those and then let's see do I want yes I want I want to use I want to do that uh, let's see cobalt blue greenish oh uh, yes greenish <clears throat> let's do the Center area again, like this. I'm doing the kind of the same thing, like like here, but uh, just a smaller scale. So first, let's do those darker areas
Hmm. I have a feeling that I don't have white in that area because that became so dark. That little dot there became so dark it might not get have any white in, in the background so we'll see how my erasing will, will turn out and again this this petal here is on top of this one so let's make here a little shadow and it is also on top of this one so let's make here a shadow and this is on top of this one so let's make there a shadow and here these are kind of I like actually that these two petals are like touching the edges or kind of touching so let's leave that there and actually I want to get that same effect here let's like this and make darker shadow there and there. Okay. Uh, and then let's take this uh, light blue from Karen Dash Luminance. Okay, and then uh, let's take uh, this one. This is the Thalo. What is this? Thalo Cardian Blue. God, these names. But uh, I prom promised that uh, <laughs> I would uh, say when when I. Um, change the color <laughs> color that I'm using so good practice for me okay. these are very creamy these these um um, luminance pencils so opaque um, and now it was stuck on the tape this is a dark indigo and I'm doing the the darker shadow in the middle here Okay, and 
and then let's see I'll do very light um, not with this not with this Which, uh, I want some okay uh, let's use this uh, blue violet but very very lightly because I don't want this to be that um, dark violet but um, I will I'm going to blend these areas with that uh, Karen Das Luminance White and uh, I'm trying to do, do this uh, kind of um, shading or coloring here give this these area a little bit different color than that blue color uh, I'll add uh, just a light layer here so when when I go over that with my white uh, that uh, white will appear more like a very very light uh, um, uh, uh, what is this color violet very light violet color What are these colors? <laughs> okay, like so and now let's take that white and actually just clean it that out. Okay, and then let's give it a little hint of this uh, fuchsia. Again, very, very lightly. I don't want to push too much. Just to give that area a little hint of something other color, some other color than just blue. Not everywhere, but especially close to this uh, this uh, pink flower here. There, a little bit more, and actually, don't know what is happening there on my paper. Let's blend those out. Okay, I think, uh, let's add this uh, mauve color and do a kind of, uh, well, first, firstly, let's sharpen this, that edge and let's give this a kind of drop shadow and that 
that shadow black. So. Yes, and actually, actually, we have here this. Um, this is casting a kind of drop shadow here. So let's try to do that there. So and. Then let's take this and brighten that um, wing so that it will pop up better. And uh, let's take that. Okay, and now this is so flat, uh, so small. This uh, oh, uh, this little flower, so that I will do do those uh, petals or uh, stems by using this tape method. So just a second, I'll try to. Clean my scissors from little tape, tape particles, and then we are ready. What is the okay? And again, let's do this. I have little tape, uh, tape particles all over the place so let's start I do this is the main okay this is so hard hard with this tape because it is taking too much you really need to be careful Okay, now I really want to test out if this 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 will work because I feel like uh, I'm lifting too much too much with that uh, tape. So let's see if I can get uh, better results with this.
Yeah. Oh. Touching something. And now I'll take that uh, indigo, dark indigo blue, and just sharpen those those uh, stems, stems, like this. And then let's do those little dots. Okay, and then let's again add some uh, pink. Actually, I want to get that fuchsia. Yeah. Just very lightly over there, and then let's take this. Yellow <laughs> Thank you, Will. You're so lovely. And let's do this. Oh, pushing too hard. Don't do that. Okay. Um, I would say that this little fellow is done. Now I just quickly clean my table just a bit so that I can do those 
those um, uh, squiggly lines also let's see where is that one one big brush this one here Try to remember using, a, for example, brush to brush your um, uh, eraser cr crumbs or and uh, uh, pencil dust and so on bo uh, away from your paper and don't use your fingers because uh, you may accidentally leave markings if you do that. And then let's zoom back and it will become start looking horrible just for a second. And then let's sharpen the focus of this. It is sharp now. Also, let, let's give it a little bit light. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Me in uh, 10,000. Oh, we'll see if that ever happens. bad that uh, um, my I can't produce as much content as uh, that many subscriber subscriber would uh, would deserve <laughs> um, I'm not leaving my day job just yet but I appreciate every subscriber I can get so and if <laughs> oh, you you guys are so amazing um, but I, I really enjoy having people around here because as you guys know um, creating art is quite uh, lonesome and uh, and uh, you, with you guys here, it's like having having uh, other um, other artists or uh, friends around, <laughs> friends that uh, understand this kind of uh, hobby, understand when when you get so excited with some colors or some little um, happy accident you may may get or <laughs> for example in then that uh, pastel pastel dog that I made some time ago <coughs> I get uh, so excited with that one little uh, <laughs> few uh, uh, circle or uh, those uh, bokeh dots uh, one one of those uh, look it's so so nice I get so excited of that and uh, you guys understand it <laughs> why I was so so happy from s such a little thing uh. Hi, R from the heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Um, now I'm actually I need to give that my reference photo. Let's see. Okay, there is some line. I want to get that one there, and I have for I forgot to trace that. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> some of you may be <clears throat> maybe new for from and haven't seen the first uh, first few live streams that I had already, and uh, I explained there how did I uh, traced this. Uh, this picture, this uh, coloring picture that I have made for you guys, if you want to follow, follow the, follow along with me with this project. Um, and uh, the way I transfer this, this is size A4, uh, A, I mean, A3. This is size A3, and I, I recommend you to get this size at least this size or bigger because these fairies will be quite hard to do if they are l uh, smaller than that and uh, if you want to know how I trace this uh, picture to this paper I have very simple um, instructions on my uh, on my web uh, website, um, the link is down below. So, and also the link to the selfie.com/finalarnne. That is also down below. So, dust or pencil. Well, I will just erase those later. Um, but. Yeah, the tracing, I basically just uh, printed that uh, picture out and uh, in the size that I wanted. Then I, well this is clean, but I colored this uh, back side of this paper, taped it, taped it down uh, so that it won't move and used the ballpoint pen to kind of trace the these lining lines here so that is very easy way but be careful and don't push too hard because uh, you can you may damage your paper for example I have some lines here I uh, <laughs> I first uh, used wrong uh, wrong picture I have few of those I, I used wrong picture in this uh, tracing at first and uh, there are few lines that should should not be there <laughs> thank you yeah yeah I have uh, been asked to do that uh, adult coloring book, but uh, we'll see if I get time and uh, time for that. Maybe someday. Now I need to hold my breath so that I won't so that my hand won't tremble too much when doing these lines actually I want to show you this this is the first uh, uh, sketch I made um, this is made with the uh, Copic markers uh, not Copic markers uh, with the what is it these Micron Micron pens and it was so hard to get any any details on those little faces. So the rest of that uh, picture I I made in in uh, Photoshop because it's uh, it is just so much easier that way. And because some of you may may want to. Uh, do even bigger uh, coloring, coloring picture on this, and then the faces of those 
fairies are more much nicer to do let's see Oh no! My hand is going in, all, in its own ways. Just a little bit blurry. Now I am just trying to follow those lines uh, with uh, one blue pencil and then I'll, I will go over every line with the darker color, uh, kind of making uh, shadows so that those are more lively. Sharpen this. Let's see, this is actually continuing there. make it a mm, little bit thicker like so and what is that
Okay, and uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> these are kind of hard for me to do and speak uh, at the same time because uh, because uh, I don't I need to keep a very steady hand when doing these. So sorry for not speaking that much in this point. get something on under my hand And let's see, let's do that one there.
keep your pencil sharp when you do this uh, these lines if you if you are doing this uh, like like I have like tracing Went a little bit off that one line there. Camera is is on my way. Actually, I need to move my paper just a little bit so that I can get a better angle. This is oh, this is gone. That's why I have that line there. And uh, the last few little lines, and then then I can start shading those.
Okay, let's see if I can move this a little bit closer. And see. Stay. Just a little adjustment. Okay, and then now I'm I'm switching to my dark indigo. I'll just uh, sharpen this pencil. Then I'll just start to go over those uh, those lines that I did just just a second ago, and I won't go completely uh, over every single area I did. Just right, just my, but uh, I'm kind of uh, here and there making um, so that it's uh, um, how should I say it? It has uh, more like uh, shadows and shiny areas and. Uh, So, not an even color all over. Oh no. I made a line that should not be there, so let's make another one. Like so. It's fixed. <laughs> um <laughs> Hi Hilda, so you you were somewhere. It's starting to be quite late on um, on on there, on Norway also. So we too should head to bed soon. So, or um, Hilde, are you on your? Do you already have your summer holidays? I forgot to add these little fellows here. I don't know what these are. They, I just like to do those.
let's make this a little a bit uh, thicker <laughs> yeah <coughs> it's, it's um it, it's same same here sun is up and feels like uh, feels like it's still early day early evening It really is very nice time in this this time of year because there is uh, so much light, so much sun, 
and then there are winters when you just can't see you see sun maybe on weekends maybe if you wake up uh, early early enough <laughs> I love to sleep. Uh, I <clears throat> I could uh, I can easily uh, sleep uh, round the clock. So sometimes on um, on winter <laughs> I may even sleep uh, sleep so late. I also also can be be wake and up very late so so in winter i sometimes may just sleep the uh, through the time when sun is up on that uh, few few hours on the darkest moments Okay, I'm off camera, but luckily I will move here. Hilde, uh, what part of uh, of Norway do you live? North, south. I have uh, I have visited uh, Norway one time it was a school trip school uh, ex excursion that we we took uh, on our way when i was what uh, 12 11 and it was so beautiful i love those mountains and and uh, the eagles <laughs> they were so many eagles flying flying around and uh, it was just so beautiful beautiful country i really like norway I need a little uh, protection under my hand again. Okay, I don't like this, uh, how close that edge is here. Yeah, so I'll just make a little extension on there and oh, it's okay. Mm. No, I have not been in, in Russia. Okay, Lillehammer. That is a... Uh, um, I recognize the name, but, but 
don't uh, don't know exactly is it the how um, how close to Sweden Uh, I know uh -huh. I know um, Norway is not the cheapest country to live in <laughs> so Hilda how much uh, are the art supplies there or do you always uh, buy online is a little thicker <laughs> oh yeah everything is expensive is it easy to um, buy online there Although art art supplies, I think they are expensive wherever you live live in. But uh, what I've heard, uh, the Norway is not the cheapest cheapest country to live in or visit. Although it must be nice to you guys ha uh, visit in. Other countries when <laughs> everything is so cheap compared. in camera yes Let's see. 
Yeah. No, many do not send it to Norway. We feel rich when we visit Sweden. Everything is so cheap there. Yeah. You you must come and visit in Finland also. I don't know if it's uh, how much cheaper it is in here, but that uh, compared to Sweden, but. At least uh, what I've uh, what I have uh, research uh, the one store we have I have mentioned this before the Verkkokauppa Verkkokauppa here in Finland uh, they carry these uh, Fabricastel polychromos pencils and uh, they are around uh, 150 euros the full set or yeah about about that that much and uh, I don't know if uh, I don't um, I think uh, those are cheaper than many other other um, How much uh, some other shops uh, asks for the, those those pencils? Yeah, I think, uh, I guess uh, the uh, Norway is, I don't know if, uh, what the reason is for some, some uh, uh, places not to ship to, to Norway. And that is so, so weird, <laughs> because um, would guess that uh, there you you would have a um, quite good uh, good range of uh, different things uh, because of the um, ship. What is the old yard? What is the word for that? But well, yeah. Shipping should be easy there, but I guess not. Can you order from uh, Jackson's Art, Hilde? Is that possible for you? For example, those uh, brush and pencil supplies okay now let's see Shadow here just to get these these little fellows to pop up better from here. Mm. And um, let's blend that. It white and a little bit white there. And at this point, I would uh, just go over every every er area here and kind of uh, hype up the contrast. Oh, 
Okay, that is... Oh my god! Uh... You are a Russian fellow who, whose name I can't pronounce. Um, 392 euros. Uh, are we talking about uh, Polychromos uh, set or the Luminanze set? Because Lumina that sounds like a Luminanze, Luminanze pencil set. That would be the cost of those. Oh my god, that is just a horrible amount of money. <laughs> oh my god. That is crazy expensive. I don't want to even know how much uh, the luminance pencils would, would would cost there. Oh my! <laughs> I'm I'm feeling so bad for you guys. Oh. Um, okay, I was thinking that I could do the, um, whoa, little details here and there with, uh, with, um, the brush and pencil touch-up texture and, uh, titanium white mixture. But now that I'm looking this uh, this picture, I may not. Uh, I think I I leave this like it is. I'll just hype up few little details with this lovely, lovely electrical eraser. And just do this, this instead. Just uh, sharpen my pencil and um, let's see. Let's get there. Uh, don't go anywhere. Just. Opening these just a little bit. Okay, and then let's let's see. I could go over this so so many times still. Usually, I would do. I would go over and sharpen every every little detail here and there make a, um, make those uh, some of those uh, details sharper and some uh, uh, what is the um, contrast add contrast on certain areas but 
I think for this I'll just leave this like it, it is now. In just a second, it is so hard to stop, difficult to stop. Just a second. So um, with your your own own painting, I recommend you to just go over every every area again and uh, do those just little adjustments here and there where you feel like you can just do little sharpening or uh, hype up the contrast but uh, yeah so where should I put my um, signero so uh, the name sign it up let's see Should it be just where should it be? Maybe here. Could look yeah. Just a small one. This size is better to do it just like this. take a little bit away and move the camera like this and uh, we just okay and Okay. Yeah, so here it is finally. Whew. Yes. <laughs> uh, I need to uh, go over here and there with uh, eraser and uh, here is some some little um, color dust that I have in some areas, but this is it. Thank you all for coming and uh, joining and uh, coloring with me. Um, and uh, special thank uh, thanks for those of you who have purchased this uh, uh, this coloring picture uh, it is uh, just a second I will add that so it is 
selfie.com slash fine art Anne. Uh, you can purchase this same uh, coloring picture there and you can follow follow along or do do it just uh, just on your own way uh, do whatever you want and uh, I really uh, I really thank you uh, and appreciate uh, those of you who support me by uh, purchasing that uh, that picture and thank you all I I had so much uh, so much fun with you guys thank you Hilde thank you Will thank you <laughs> so ah Kitos uh, uh, thank you for you uh, now I try Rupongnaba I can't pronounce your name <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it looks beautiful your name <laughs> um, thank you all so much and uh, I will post the, the final picture from, from this uh, uh, on my Facebook and Instagram account and uh, also in the uh, last few uh, next few weeks I will post uh, these uh, quicker time lapse, time lapse videos of uh, every video I have made from these so that you can also check out these in uh, I would say uh, triple what many, many times quicker speed <laughs> they are very very quick and uh, hope you had uh, as fun time as much fun as I did and uh, yeah See you next time. I don't know when I will be uh, live streaming next, uh, but uh, I hope I can do it uh, some someday next next month. But for few few uh, weeks from now, Yaroslava, Yaroslava. <laughs> okay. Um, from few few weeks now I I will be uh, away so have a nice summer and uh, I love you guys thank you and goodbye <laughs>